Hello, this is Father Daniel Kim, Marino Mishnah, and welcome to our daily gospel reading and reflection. Today's gospel reading is according to St. Matthew, chapter 5, verses 17 to 19. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not think that I have come to abolish the law of the prophets. I have come not to abolish, but to fulfill. Amen, I say to you, until heaven and earth pass away, not the smallest letter or the smallest part of a letter will pass from the law until all things have taken place. Therefore, whoever breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do so will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever obeys and teaches these commandments will be called greatest in the kingdom of heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Despite how radical and forward-thinking Jesus was in his ministry, he was still a pious and law-abiding Jew. The complaints and accusations made against Jesus of not confining to the religious laws were responded to by him with supporting references from the Torah and the prophets. Even when the religious authorities tried to trap him with disobeying Roman civil law, he responded with truth and wisdom. Give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, and give to God what belongs to God. So indeed, Jesus did not come to abolish the law or the prophets, rather to fulfill. The only threat Jesus posed was against the corruption and injustices committed by those in power. And the core message of Jesus is to proclaim God's justice and commandments that all the laws and prophets hang on, that is, love God with all heart, soul, and mind, and love one's neighbor as oneself. Thank you for listening to today's gospel reading and reflection. Please be sure to tune in again tomorrow. Have a blessed and fulfilling day. If you enjoyed today's gospel reading and reflection, please make sure that you subscribe wherever you're listening to podcasts. Also, if you know somebody who may find value in today's reading, please make sure that you share it with them. To learn more about how you can support the work that Mary Knoll does around the world, please visit us at MaryKnollSociety.org. And if you're interested in subscribing to our online magazine, please feel free to visit us at MaryKnollMagazine.org. Thank you once again for spending your time with us today, and God bless.